Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your continuity to support the work of this channel. Now, Rashid Echesa has come out with a big indication of U-turn. When I say this, I have a video of yesterday while Rashid Echesa was talking and also giving his speech before Raila Amolo Odinga and also before Kalonzo Msoka. And you could even indicate something that is coming in future when it comes to the politics of Rashid Echesa, the politics of other candidates that failed because of supporting William Samaruto in Western region. I want you to watch that video. After watching that video, I want us to look two things. Number one, the possibility of Rashid Echesa rallying behind Raila Amolo Odinga and Kalonzo Msoka in the next general election. Number two, the possibility why some Western leaders who failed in this election and they were supporting William Samoyeruto and they are feeling like they are no longer going to support William Ruto because they felt like the certain areas that Raila Amolo Odinga is commanding that in any case they are going to rally behind Raila Amolo Odinga even though Raila Odinga is not going to vie for presidency they know they're going to be successful politically speaking. And that is my opinion. So watch that video. After watching that video of Rashid Echesa, then we continue with our analysis. Kwa hivyo, Baba Mimi na Kobeka Raheri, I know what you're going through now. To lose an election is a very painful thing. Na Mimi na Mimi ya kwamba, uongozi mapeanwa na mnezi mungu. Mimi nita Kobea Baraka, Mungu akupatie imani na subira siku nyingine nina imani kuna kitu kile Mwenyezi Mungu amekuwekea na hiyo siku itakuja kufika siku nyingine. Kwa hayo machache ndugu yangu baraza asante sana. Ndugu yangu naika na maono ukisema hapa Ruto hajanipatia hata kazi ya kufagia. Mimi nashukuru kwa sababu hata wakati mimi nilifanya waziri na uhuru Kenyatta Siku kwa nafanya kazi ya kufagia Kwa hivyo ndugu yangu Ruto ni rais wa iti And he's my personal friend I have not complained Why he has not given me a job Why are you complaining on my behalf You can indicate a certain signal Of Rashid Echesa The first time that I've had Rashid Echesa being nice before Raila Amolo Odinga. It is not for the first time Rashid Echesa giving his speech before Raila Odinga, but this is another bombshell that I want to say that, ladies and gentlemen, Rashid Echesa has come out to say that he is praying for Raila Amolo Odinga, number one. Number two, he's having faith that the presidency and leadership is being given by God. Number three, is telling Raila Muludinga that he's having the faith that one day Raila Muludinga is going to be the president. Then you can combine those three things, then you can imagine whatever is going to happen. Another thing that Rashid Echeza has come out to respond to someone that said that even Rashid Echeza was the supporter of William Samaruto, despite of William Samaruto having the government. William Ruto has not rewarded him any job in his government. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, Rashid Echeza came out to answer that leader. That look, even though William Samuruto is my best friend, and he has not given me a chance in his government, even for sweeping, he knew that even in the government of Uhuru Kenyatta he worked, but he never worked as a sweeping person in the government of Uhuru Kenyatta. 
So I believe and I have, according to my opinion, is that Rashid Echesa is talking on behalf of certain local leaders from Western region. Now, I want us to talk of those three things that I've said. Number one, what is the possibility of Rashid Echesa joining Raila Amuru Odinga and Kalonzo Msoka, despite even though Raila Amuru Odinga is not going to vie for presidency in 2027? The reason behind Echesa and people like Cleofas Malala and other leaders from Western region and some part that it has been believed that Raila Amolo Odinga is controlling his politics, they are feeling now it is a right time not to associate with William Samoto because they thought when they were going to rally behind Musalim Davadi, through Musalim Davadi, they thought that they were going to be popular. Little did they know people like Cleofas Malala and Rashid Echesa that they could have vied under a political party that was under Azimio Ramoja. And there's something that I said it even yesterday during my analysis in certain video in this channel. And I said that today, if Clafas Malala could have been with Raila Morodinga and vying for presidency under the, any political party in Azimio, today, mark my words, today we could have been having Clafas Malala as the governor of Kakamega County. That is the pure truth. Number two, if HSA could have been vying under Raila Amolo Dinga's political party or any other political party in Western region, where Raila Amolo Dinga is having a huge command, HSA could have been a person that could have been elected uh, maybe a member of parliament or maybe a senator, which according to me, I don't know what made HSA not to vie. Another thing, ladies and gentlemen, you must understand is why Echesa and Clafas Malala and other people are likely to rally behind Raila Amorodinga. They spied of Musalem Davadi, Wetangula, uh, with William Samuruto. They know Mudavadi was just rewarded as a person. Was, he was not rewarded as because he was having his soldiers. And that is why these soldiers are feeling like Mudavadi has been rewarded. Yet we as soldiers, we have not been rewarded despite of fighting for Kenya Kwanzaa lands. We lost our election and no one is talking about our future. That is number one. Number two, the reason why Echesa is praising Raila Amolo Dinga for the first time. Number one, it is because now there are certain local lawyer leaders that are feeling that behind Raila Amolo Dinga, their political career is safe. Despite of all this that we are hearing, that all next 2027, Musalim Davadi and Wetangula, and of course William Ruto, are going to take a storm when it comes to the support in the Western region. Which, according to me, I see it like something that is not going to pass. That is the reality. Counties like Kakam, uh, Busia, you cannot tell me that uh, William Ruto is going to control. County like Vega, you cannot tell me even Musalim Davadi vied as a president, but Raila Amorodinga defeated. County like Kakamega, you cannot tell me that William Root is going to defeat Raila or with that person that Raila Odinga is going to endorse. County like Transoya, maybe Bungoma, because Bungoma's politics is very hard, and that is the reason. So I think, ladies and gentlemen, it is a very painful U turn towards Echesa. Number three, and lastly and not least, Echesa is feeling like they have been played. And through the play and also the, um, the, 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 the way they have been abandoned, they're feeling like they are political orphans. So they're trying their luckiness towards Raila Muldinga, though some people are feeling that when you continue praising Raila Muldinga in Western, you are becoming someone important in the politics of western and you could, you could even see longer the at, at times that i had Clafas malala saying that raila murudinga has made certain local leaders from western region to be where they are ladies and gentlemen are you accepting according to my opinion that the chesa is making a u-turn drop your opinion at the comment section below 
Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. If you are a visitor, please consider subscribing. Put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to appreciate you so much. Consider liking this video. Otherwise, continue liking this video across the social media. Share it, comment, and like. Bye-bye till we meet on another video.